here are six big picture issues to think about when evaluating a customer data platform. Hi, everybody. My name is Greg Crable, and this is my daily podcast, Something I Learned Yesterday, in which I take one issue from the world of publishing and try to explain it in about three or four minutes. If you're considering a customer data platform, here are some big picture ideas to keep in mind. People like to say the devil is in the details, but I think the devil is more clever than that. So if you want to avoid disaster, you need both the bird's eye view and the snail's eye view. Now, what you need to do to get a bird's eye view of a CDP, I'm going to outline in, in today's podcast. First, start with the CDP's origin story. What was it before it became a CDP? It might have been an email service provider, an ESP, a marketing automation platform, a tag management system, or some other type of marketing technology. You want to know this because that origin story will reflect the corporate mindset. It gives you an insight into the way they're inclined to think about things, and that's important to know. You also want to know if the CDP is a walled garden. Is the CDP so integrated with other technologies that you're going to have trouble if you try to use some other service? For example, if the CDP is integrated with an ESP, does that mean you're going to have trouble if you choose another ESP? Or is the CDP so integrated with a particular customer relationship management package that you can't use a different one? This is all related to what I call the best of breed versus the Swiss army knife question. Some CDPs adopt a fairly narrow perspective on their role in the world, what they're supposed to offer. For example, they may focus on creating the single customer view and expect you to rely on other services for website activations, content recommendations, marketing automation, paywall management, and other services like that. They'll say they're best of breed in this narrow area and then they recommend you use other best of breed technologies for other things. Now, there's a lot to be said in favor of that, but there's also the question of cost and how many different services you want to try to integrate all together. I like to use the analogy of the Swiss Army knife because none of the tools in a Swiss Army knife are best of breed. The knife isn't the best knife and the corkscrew isn't the best corkscrew, but you have them all in your pocket. So you need to think long and hard about which approach is more likely to work for your company. The same idea applies to reporting. Does the CDP offer internal reporting or do they expect you to integrate with external BI tools? Now, there's no right or wrong answer to any of these questions. You want to go through these big picture issues to see if there's compatibility between the way the CDP work, CDP works and the way you work, see if there's a good fit. Does their offering meet your needs? If you're looking into CDPs, you've also seen the term composable. It's a concept that applies to software systems in general, and I like to think of it like Lego blocks. A composable system offers a lot of independent modules that address specific needs or functions and can easily be plugged into other systems. In the CDP context, this means that you might be able to use your own customer database and various CDP functions will sit on top of that, where in a typical CDP configuration, the CDP would house the customer database. Now, after you've viewed all of these issues, you want to verify them with actual clients. The CDP may say that they integrate with such and so ESP, but there are good and bad integrations. So find out call the ESP and see what they think about their integration. Find some customers who rely on that integration and talk to them. In short, salespeople like to say yes, and you need to find out what sort of a yes it is. Now, for the snail's eye view, you're going to have to give me a call because that depends on your particular situation. There's no way I can do a general purpose podcast on that. I've also included some links below with some additional resources. If I can help you out with any of these things, please contact me. I'd love to chat with you about it. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.